Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Nuta, the Crochet World. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos. And today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a coaster. Um, and here I've used my 100% cotton yarn. And for this project, I've used 3mm of the hook. So let's begin. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to use my this white color for this middle part now uh, it's totally up to you you can use any color you want i'm going to use this white color and here i'm going to make a magic circle so for the magic circle just put your yarn around your fingers and make an axe here and put your second strain of yarn at the back have your hook and insert your hook in this way so it should be below your first strain of yarn and above your second strain of yarn now grab your second strain of yarn through your first strain of yarn and turn your hook this way and that's it this is your magic circle now here here it is this is your magic circle now here i'm gonna chain up two so it's one and two now this chain two i'm gonna count as my first double crochet usually we chain up three but here i'm gonna chain up two for my this first double crochet so this first chain two will count as my first double crochet and now i'm gonna yarn over and will insert my hook into my this uh, magic circle and we'll grab the yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and this is your second double crochet so first chain two will count as your first double crochet and this then second double crochet now here we're gonna have 12 double crochets in total into our this magic circle for our round number one so here we got our two double crochets and now keep on having your double crochets into this magic circle for your round number one and in total we're gonna need 12 double crochets so I'm going to meet you after my 12 double crochets. And here it is. I've got my this 12 double crochets for my round number one. I'm just going to pull my this loose end a tight, a little bit tight. So that it will be in a circle. And now here it is. We got about this chain two for our first double crochet. One and two. So this is our chain two. I will not insert my hook into my this second chain but I will go this go to the second stitch. So this is my second double crochet. This is my second stitch and I will insert my hook into my this second stitch but I will not go like this. What I will do is I will just leave my hook in here. So just leave your this loop go at the back into the second double crochet and just grab your yarn from the front. So insert your hook from the back and grab your yarn and have your yarn in here and that's it. This is the end of your round number one. So into your second stitch, insert your hook from the back and grab your loop from the back, from the front to the back and here it is. This is your round number one and here you got your 12 double crochets. Now for the round number two, we're going to need two double crochets into each stitch and in total we're going to have 24 double crochets so for that one i'm just going to insert my hook so this is the this is the stitch where i have made my the slip stitch so here i'm going to insert my hook again into that same stitch here and we'll grab the yarn and here i'm going to have two loops on my hook these are the two loops on my hook now i'm going to yarn over and pull my yarn through both the loops and this is my first single crochet and chain one so here it is this is my first double crochet one single crochet and chain one will count as my first double crochet now i'm gonna yarn over and will insert my hook again into that same stitch where i've just made my this first single crochet i will insert my hook into my that same stitch will grab the yarn and will make a double crochet and this is my two double crochets i will go to my this next stitch and i will have two double crochets here so it's one and two again into your next one have two double crochets so it's one and two again into your next one have two double crochets so it's one and two now keep on having two double crochets into each stitch from the previous round and by the end of this round round number two you're gonna have your 24 single crochets and i'm gonna meet you at the end here and here it is after my round number two i have my this 24 double crochets and now I will leave my uh, hook in here so just pull your yarn uh, and just go to this second stitch so now here this is your first stitch 
this is your first stitch this is your first single crochet and chain one we're going to go to this second stitch so this is our second stitch go at the back and grab your yarn from the front and just pull it to the back sorry here it is and it looks like this now for our round number three just insert your hook again into that same stitch where we have made about the slip stitch insert your hook into that same stitch grab your yarn sorry just grab your yarn and make a single crochet here so you're gonna have two loops and make a single crochet here and chain one and this is your first double crochet now we're gonna go to this second stitch now here yarn over and insert your hook into the second stitch and have two double crochets into that one stitch so this is our first double crochet and this is our second double crochet again into the next one we're gonna have one double crochet and again into the next one we're gonna have two double crochets so it's one and two again the next one we're gonna have one double crochet and into the next one we're gonna have two double crochets so it's one and two and now keep on repeating this pattern and by the end in here you're gonna have your 36 double crochets and i'm gonna meet you at the end here and here it is i've got my this 36 double crochets and now again i'm gonna leave this uh, yarn and i will go at the back on my the second stitch so this is our first single crochet and chain one so i would go to my the second double crochet second stitch from the back and i will grab my yarn from the front to the back here it is and now turn your work and here again insert your hook into that same stitch where you have made your this slip stitch and grab your yarn and make a single crochet here and now chain one so this is your first double crochet for your round number four and now into the next one we're gonna have one double crochet and into the next one into this third stitch we're gonna have two double crochets into that one stitch so it's one and two again next two stitches we're gonna have one double crochet into each stitch so it's one and one and into this third stitch we're gonna have two double crochets into that one stitch so it's one and two again the next one we're gonna next two we're gonna have one double crochet into each stitch so it's one and one and into the next one we're gonna have two double crochets into that one stitch so it's one and two and now keep on repeating this pattern until the end of this round round number four and here you're gonna have your 48 double crochets and i'm gonna meet you after my 48 double crochets and here it is i've got my this 48 double crochets here for my this round round number four and now i will go to this second stitch from the back so just leave your hook in here and just grab your yarn go to the second stitch from the back and grab your yarn and now i'm gonna cut my yarn so here this is the slip stitch i have made so this is my slip stitch here and now i'm gonna cut my yarn and here i'm gonna secure my this last stitch so here it is uh, i've got my i've cut my yarn and here i've secured my this last stitch now here i'm here and just have your needle and insert your this a uh, yarn into your, this last worked stitch here it is this is your last work stitch from the above and just grab it to the back and here it is this is your nightly knitted stitch and there is no flaws in the pattern in here as well and now put this loose end in and i'm gonna meet you after that and here it is my perfect circle is ready and if you will count the stitches i have exactly 48 stitches on my this last round now here for your round number five just take any stitch so just go to any stitch and we're gonna take the front loop so do not uh, take this both the loops like this we're gonna take only the front loop make sure that you are on the front side of your work this is the back side this is the front side and take the front loop and now we're gonna change the color of our yarn here i'm gonna use this uh, blue color 
you can have any color you want and i'm just gonna attach my color here on any stitch just attach your color into the front loop and here i'm gonna chain two so it's one and two now this first chain will count as my first slip stitch and chain one so here chain two first is your slip stitch and second is your chain one go to your next stitch insert your hook into this front loop grab your yarn and make a slip stitch and chain one again into a next one insert your hook into the front loop only grab your yarn make a slip stitch and chain one again into a next one insert your hook into the front loop grab your yarn make a slip stitch and chain one into the next one take the front loop grab your yarn make your slip stitch and chain one now keep on having this pattern keep on repeating this pattern so one slip stitch uh, front loop only on every stitch and then chain one keep on having this pattern and i'm gonna meet you after my um after the end of this round so i'm gonna end up here each uh, stitch will have one slip stitch and one chain one and i'm gonna meet you at the end here and here it is i've worked on my this last stitch i've repeated my pattern for about 48 times and here it is i've worked on my this last stitch now to finish up over this round i'm gonna just leave this yarn here and i will insert my hook into my this first chain so this is my first chain insert your hook from the back insert your hook into your this first chain here and just grab your yarn so just have your loop and grab your yarn from the back and that's how we're gonna attach our work here here it is and now i'm gonna insert my hook into that here it looks like this now i'm gonna insert my hook into my this back space so here we have worked on the front loops and now we are gonna work on this back loops so here it is this is the back loop of my first uh, stitch here i have made my this chain two for my round number five here it is so i'm gonna take this stitch so i will go to the stitch here and we'll take this back loop and we'll grab the yarn here and here i'm gonna have two loops and on my hook and now yarn over and pull your yarn through both the loops and this is your first single crochet here so take the back loop again if you wanna check this here it is this is my first stitch where i have started my this of uh, round, round number five i'm just gonna insert my hook into that back loop and we'll grab the yarn and here i'm gonna have two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and now onwards we're gonna work on this back loop so this is our back loops this is the front loop we have already worked on and we're gonna, we're gonna work on this back loop now onwards so here it is we got our this first single crochet and now chain four one two three and four chain four for this first round and here i'm going to insert my hook into my this second chain so leave your this first chain and go to the second chain and insert your hook into the second chain and grab your yarn and make a picket here so make a slip stitch here so here we're gonna make our a small picket in here and now go to your next chain your third chain insert your hook and grab your yarn go to your this fourth chain insert your hook and grab your yarn you can have three loops and now here we are on this single crochet so here i'm gonna take this back part of this single crochet so this is the back part of the single crochet i will insert my hook into this back part like this and will grab the yarn and i'm gonna have four loops here now i will go to this stitch where i have just made this uh, stitch this is my first stitch the back loop of my this first stitch I will insert my hook into that space and will grab the yarn and now i'm gonna have five loops on my hook now i will go to this next stitch this is the next stitch and this is the back loop of my this next stitch and i will insert my hook into my that back loop of my this next stitch and will grab the yarn and now i'm gonna have six loops on my hook so it's one two three four five and six now yarn over and pull your yarn through all six loops here and like this and now we're gonna chain three this is the end of our stitch number one now we're gonna start making our stitch number two here chain three so it's one two and three chain three 
go to your next uh, chain your second chain insert your hook grab your yarn and make a slip stitch here we're going to make our this little picket insert your hook into this third chain like this grab your yarn go to this part of your chain this strain of yarn and grab your yarn insert your hook and grab your yarn like this now go to this last stitch so this is the your last yarn over and here it is this is the back part of your last yarn over here it is insert your hook into this back part of your this last yarn yarn over here it is and grab your yarn like this and go to this last stitch where you have just worked on insert your hook into that one and grab your yarn and go to your next stitch so this is the back loop of your next stitch so go to this next stitch and grab your yarn and now you're gonna have six loops on your hook one two three four five and six yarn over and pull your yarn through all your six loops and this is the end of your next stitch the second stitch now uh, we're going to start our third stitch so here we're going to make chain three so that's one two and three chain three go to your second chain insert your hook grab your yarn and make a picket here like this and go to this third chain insert your hook grab your yarn go to this next strain of yarn insert your hook grab your yarn go to this yarn over and take the back part of your this last yarn over here at the back and insert your hook into that yarn over and grab your yarn go to this stitch the back loop of this stitch where you have just been working on insert on that stitch grab your yarn and go to your next stitch insert your hook and grab your yarn this is the back loop of your next stitch and here it is you're going to have six loops on your hook one two three four five six yarn over and pull your yarn through all six loops and here it is this is the end of your third stitch now to start your fourth stitch chain three one two and three go to a second chain insert your hook grab your yarn and make a slip stitch go to a third chain insert your hook grab your yarn go to this strain of yarn insert your hook grab your yarn go to this last yarn over at the back and here insert your hook and grab your yarn go to uh, this stitch where you have just been working on insert your hook and grab your yarn and go to your next stitch insert your hook and grab your yarn and here you're going to have six loops on your hook one two three four five and six yarn over and pull your yarn through all six loops chain three one two and three insert your hook into uh, the second stitch second chain grab your yarn and make a slip stitch here go to uh, this third chain insert your hook grab your yarn go to this eye take the strain of yarn insert your hook into that eye and grab your yarn go to do this last yarn over insert your hook at the back of this yarn over and grab your yarn so sorry grab your yarn and go to this last worked stitch where you have just been working on and grab your yarn and go to your this next stitch the back loop of your next stitch and grab your yarn this and you're gonna have six loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through all six loop chain three one two and three again go to your next chain insert your hook and grab your yarn and make a slip stitch go to a chain three insert your hook and grab your yarn go to this eye insert your hook grab your yarn go to this last yarn over take the back part and grab your yarn go to your this stitch insert your hook and grab your yarn go to your next stitch insert your hook into the back loop and grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through all six loops and keep on repeating this pattern so keep on repeating on all the way around until here and i'm going to meet you here and we'll tell you how to finish up about this round and here it is i've repeated my pattern for about 47 times and for the last time here I'm going to repeat my pattern for the last time so here i'm going to chain three so it's one two and three insert your hook into the second chain grab your yarn make a slip stitch and go to a third chain and grab your yarn into the eye grab your yarn into this last yarn over and take the back part and grab your yarn into this 
stitch and grab your yarn and here i'm gonna go at this uh, stitch here we have already worked on so i'm gonna take that stitch and we'll grab the yarn and i'm gonna have six loops on my hook yarn over and pull your yarn through all six loops and here it is this is the last time i have repeated my pattern about 48th time here it is and now i'm gonna chain one here and i will leave my this yarn and here it is here we got our this uh, chain uh, our this chain four i'm just gonna insert my hook into this chain four like this and i will grab this loop from the back Sorry, from the front to the back. Sorry about this. And that's it. That's how I'm going to close my this work. Here it is. It looks like this. Now here, cut your yarn. And secure your this last stitch here it is and it looks like this and now we're gonna put over this two loose ends in and i'm gonna meet you after that And here it is. It is all done. It looks like this from the back and it looks like this from the front. And here it is. I hope you have liked my today's tutorial. If you have liked, please like, share and comment on my videos. And please, please, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you into the next video. Till then. Bye.